Just a warning, it does contain some flash photography. Anger and reflection at the National Assembly in Seoul, the focus of a six-hour foray into martial law. South Korea incensed and unnerved. All night I couldn't sleep. Very scary. It was very scary because we had the experience 30, 40 years ago. They want a deeply unpopular leader who took a huge gamble gone. The president's audacious move rattled these people and South Korea's democracy. It remains intact and everyone here is determined to keep it that way. What's striking is no one saw it coming. A seemingly strong democracy suddenly unsettled. I was watching the news, the breaking news, and my family, we, we were so shocked. I have four children and they were so scared. They were so afraid. So I told my children, don't worry, we will overcome this problem. <laughs> These were the images of a darker past. Troops on the streets. Lawmakers body blocked. Now, impeachment proceedings underway. Impeaching a president is not really a fun thing to do, not even for a lawmaker. But this person, Yoon Suk Yol, has done something crazy that violates the Constitution. He basically committed a coup d'etat. Impeachment is not a choice anymore, it's a must. The president claimed he was protecting the country from North Korea's communist forces, eliminating anti-state elements. But he backed down within hours. A relief for America, their check on North Korea, their counterweight to China, stable. We welcome President Yoon's statement, withdrawing the martial law order, and there was a unanimous vote in the National Assembly uh, to reject the decision, and he uh, followed up on that. Uh, in our judgment, any political disagreements need to be resolved peacefully and in accordance with the rule of law. Yoon's high-stakes manoeuvre backfired. His political career now in grave doubt. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Seoul, South Korea.